Well, howdy folks. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the workshop. I'm gonna build another project today. It's in this box. Let me open it for you. This is the Wolf Alele. This comes from a fella in Canada and he makes these kits. And you can see here is part of it, right? Like that's the back, here's the top, etc. And uh, he pre-cuts all the parts for you, including the fretboard, and then sends it to you, Include and got, got a little hardware bag here, and of course, instructions. And he makes these in several different sizes, alto, soprano, um, you know, etc. And this particular one is the soprano wolf Lely. But um, as you're well aware, I've built many, many string instruments over the years, so a kit tends to be not a huge challenge, but it doesn't mean it's not gonna be a lot of fun. So in this video, I'm gonna build a soprano wolf Lely and see how it goes. Okay, folks, so this should be dry now. Let's go ahead and take the weights off. And at this point, I should probably mention that um, the kit, the instructions actually tell you how to build this entire kit in about a half an hour. That is not what I'm doing because uh, I'm going to actually finish it and stuff. Um, but what it actually tells you to do is glue like the first piece and wait five minutes and then glue the second piece and wait five minutes and then glue the third piece and wait five minutes and so on and so forth. Well, I just did all this in one kind of fell swoop. I think this is going to actually turn out really good. And instead of most of the videos that I've seen people just leave it unfinished, I'm going to go ahead and finish it. So... Okay, folks, I let the glue dry overnight and it looks like it's really taking shape. Now off camera, I took any places that there was kind of a low spot or a ding or a warp or anything and I put some wood putty in there just to help kind of straighten everything out. Let's uh, get her sanded and finished. Okay, folks, we're almost done here. We've just got strings and tuners. Now, real quick, look at this. So I decided to clear coat it and look what happened. Whatever dye was part of these decals like ran from the clear coat. So I guess that's part of the finish now, but honestly, it doesn't bother me that much. It looks pretty darn good. Um, and I also took these the black screws out and replaced them with gold screws. So I think that kind of fits the golden green motif. Now these are the tuners that came with the kit, but I have some gold tuners here. So if we compare one for one here, they look pretty darn similar. Plates look to be about the same size. This one, the ones that came with it have a little bit longer shaft, but I think it's gonna work okay. So I'm gonna use these gold tuners just to go with it. Let's put it together. Here we go, folks. It is complete. And to be honest, I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, here you go, let me give you a real quick, there's the uh, gold tuners there. 
Um, you can see the gold screws on the fretboard and the bridge. That little Duke, Duke Uke. Oh, by the way, that's what I came up with. Duke Uke, get it? Anyway, and then the little crown up there on the headstock. Tuned up-ish, because it's still stretching a little bit, but tuned up and ready to play. Let's give it a shot. one in my next Sunday song so stay tuned for that appreciate you tuning in today if you like what I do on this channel why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me if you like this video give it a thumbs up see you guys soon